last month Ivan Sebaduka sued President Yoweri Museveni together with the Electoral Commission and the Minister of Health on the issue of collecting signatures by presidential aspirants in different parts of the country. Sebaduka indicated that this could increase the spread of COVID-19 among the natives. In his petition, drafted in form of talking points before the justices, Sebaduka wondered how a sensible person would subject presidential aspirants to look for signatures from two-thirds of the country in this era of COVID-19. All the grounds were objected by the respondents with Eric Sabiti representing Electoral Commission Chairperson, Richard Adrole for Minister of Health and David Karujire representing President Yoweri Museveni today. The panel of seven justices of the Supreme Court of Uganda, led by Chief Justice Alfonso Winyidolo, after pursuing both submissions in this case, have finally delivered their ruling. In their ruling, justices noted that Sebaduka insulted the court process, and besides this, he used abusive language that undermined everyone involved in his petition. This petition discloses no cause of action and is therefore incompetent and incurably defective. It is one of the actions which any reasonable tribunal would never entertain. The justices added that apart from demeaning the sanity of the justices, his petition lacked merit. He has referred to as foolish, stupid, incompetent and a host of other offensive descriptions or accusations that would not be permissible even in a political rally. On this, the panel struck the petition and directed the petitioner, Sebaduka Ivan, to appear before it on 11th November 2020. The petition has done nothing else but rain torrents of abuse, insults on every party to the suit except himself. The petitioner shall appear before this court on the 11th day of November 2020. Hamid Lugorovi. One of the respondents from the Electoral Commission explains what would be the consequences of this order to Ivan Sebaduka. You can be committed to civil prison or you can even be fined. Speaking to the media after the decision, the petitioner Ivan Samuel Sebaduka vowed to defend himself before the panel come 11th November 2020. I will appear in person, but everything, I, I'm an editor-in-chief. Whatever I do, I put in writing. So my submissions will be in writing. Other justices on the panel include Stella Arach Amoko, Percy Knight Tuhaise, Faith Monda, Paul Mogamba, Ezekiel Mohanguzi, and Mike Chivita. Contempt of court is the only offense that is not laid out in the Penal Code Act as it may have both civil and criminal elements.